Despite the price wars, stock shortages, and power bills that could rival a small nation, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 remains the undisputed king of graphics cards. Its sheer performance is a crown jewel, leaving the competition in the dust. For all the controversies surrounding skyrocketing GPU prices, limited availability, and power-hungry demands, the NVIDIA RTX 4090 reigns supreme as one of the top graphics cards even today. In compromising in its performance, it sits atop the current generation like a powerful king. But the question lingers, will the rumored 5090 unleash an even more intense storm upon its release? The monstrous RTX 5090, a potential successor rumored to unleash a graphical storm unlike anything we've seen before. Will it dethrone the reigning champion, or is the 4090 destined to hold its reign? While there's a chance NVIDIA might delay the release of the RTX 5090 series until beyond 2024, rumors suggest gamers won't have to wait an eternity. It seems highly likely these next-generation cards, packed with cutting-edge features, are on the horizon, barring any unforeseen circumstances. The 4090 remains a monster, pushing graphical boundaries. Even with controversies, its performance speaks for itself. It is incompromising in its power, and it's the perfect Halo product to sit on top of the current general GPUs. The least we can expect is when the 5090 releases, it will be another storm to tame. While they're not exactly long in the tooth, plenty of PC gamers are wondering when the next generation Blackwell cards will launch. The RTX 5090 is projected to include 204 streaming multiprocessors, leading to a total core count of 26,112. That's raw power waiting to be unleashed. Fueling this beast is 32 gigabits per second GDDR7 memory running across a 384-bit bus, previously rumored to be 512-bit, so things are getting interesting. Under the hood, the Blackwell GB202 architecture boasts 12 graphics processing clusters, each paired with 8 texture processing clusters. The RTX 5090's memory bandwidth is projected to be 1,536 gigabyte per second, a considerable increase from the 1,008 gigabyte per second of the RTX 4090, and the L2 cache is anticipated to be 96 megabytes. This improvement represents a 50% enhancement in memory throughput and approximately a 60% increase in shader density. It is expected to be equipped with 32 gigabits per second GDDR7 memory, operating over a 384-bit bus. This configuration contrasts with earlier considerations of a 512-bit bus. The GPU's core architecture, also known as the Blackwell GB202, is described to have 12 graphics processing clusters featuring 8 texture processing clusters (TPCs) configuration. The overall performance uplift is anticipated to be up to 2x or more compared to its predecessor. Each TPC is expected to contain two SMS, with 128 FP32 cores. This structure leads to a theoretical core count of 24,576 for a fully enabled GB202. However, manufacturing efficiencies may result in a dip, reducing the expected core count to 24,046 or less. Meanwhile, whispers indicate AMD's upcoming RDNA 4 architecture might focus primarily on the mid-range market segment. This raises questions about how much competition it will truly pose to NVIDIA's dominance in the high-end graphics card sector. However, if the leaked information is accurate, it appears NVIDIA is strategically keeping its options open. This could imply a potential adjustment to their release schedule depending on market conditions and the competitiveness of AMD's offerings. Ultimately, gamers will have to stay tuned to see how this technological chess game unfolds. Only time will tell if the 5090 surpasses the 4090, but one thing's for sure, the debate around high-end GPU pricing, availability, and power consumption is far from over. This saga, just like the 4090's performance, is likely to remain intense and uncompromising. So, what do you think? 
how far and long NVIDIA will play with enthusiast gamers, before addressing anything further. Let us know in the comments and subscribe to this channel for more content like this.